hello, hello. Here's hoping everything works. I have not tested my stream layout in freaking forever, so, uh, whew. I'm gonna no effort this. I don't care. I genuinely don't care. I just wanna, I wanna play the old game. Beach episode should be out now. It is out now, and it is a full eight frickin' dollars. Okay. That is going to be one of the more substantial ones, which is kind of what I expected. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's get this purchased. And then I will get the screen share running. God, I hope people can hear me. Actually, I don't care. Like I said, I want to no effort this. I'm just here to play video game. And if anyone wants to watch, that is awesome. I'm going to ping a few of my friends who are interested in this as well. Though they actually might want to play it themselves. Let me just... <sighs> Enter in all my payment information again. I have not bought anything on Steam in forever. Okay, installing, awesome. While that installs, which should be done already to be honest, let me start pinging some friends. Once I've got people pinged, we'll get started. All right, I think that's all my pings. Let's see. All right then, can I figure out how to... No, not that one. Can I figure out how to actually do this? God, I have not streamed properly like this in forever. Oh, that's going to be a terrible idea. Oh, please, please, please don't have issues with trying to capture the entire 4K screen. I'm going to have to fix that once the game window is actually properly open. But for now, at least, should be able to see Steam. Yeah, I'm going to do a real quick test to make sure the chat overlay is working. All right, awesome. Chat overlay works. Let's get started. Oh, come on. Wow, it opened on the wrong screen. Goody, goody, goody. Here, let me let me fix that. Also, I need to make sure my audio is actually being captured. Wow, you can tell I haven't done this in forever. I'm so sorry. It would be ba. There we go. 
guess I can play on the other screen if it makes me, but I would rather it not. Here, let me see. I think I have an idea of how I can fix that. Since RPG Maker is such a weird engine, it's got issues. There, set you to primary. Okay, now it should open on the right screen. Aha, there we go. Okay, hopefully audio is balanced. If it's not, let me know. Let's get started. Ah, <sighs> creepy logo. Oh, it's loud for me too, actually. Good, it's exactly as creepy as I hoped. I figured it would be fucking creepy. <sighs> it's, yep, yep. If I remember correctly, hi, Whisker Biscuit. If I remember correctly, a while ago, I don't have a source for this, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But uh, a while ago, Ken Gao said that this plus last hour of an RPG would be the conclusion to the Sigmund Corp series, so... I'm appropriately terrified. Okay, we're playing Eva, then. Full fu well, not full, but like, actual friggin' animation. That's a step up in quality. God, it's been so long. Your biggest cut. That's concerning. Hold on, how many times have you died, sir? I'm trying to decide. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna read out the dialogue. Let's do it. It's me, Angus, your biggest customer. God, it's been it's been a while since I played the games. I am gonna probably need to take a moment to remember characters. I remember Quincy, of course. I remember River. I remember Johnny. Uh, I think Colin was the patient of the second game, right? Who's still alive? That is. Oh. So you just paid in advance, got it. Where did everybody go? If I'm remembering long and this isn't the last pair of games in the series, then Angus is going to be the next patient for sure. They serve water on the plane, you know. Yeah, but you never know when they'll get to you. And whenever there's turbulence... Would you let the wind decide the fate of your own hydration, Eva? Okay, okay, forget I said anything. See, that's why you have a lid and a straw. I always have a lid and straw. But also I'm disabled, so it's just easier that way. Anybody at all? What's that? Headquarters security camera. It's just Angus again. Oh, okay. Anyways. Attention, flight 326 passengers. Boarding will begin shortly at gate 4. Sheesh, are those two still coming? Well, Roxy wouldn't miss anything free, let alone a va uh, free vacation. They're sure cutting it pretty close. I guess I'll go get something for the shop to read on the plane. God, reminds me of uh, when I was hopping on the plane to move to where I live now. Uh, me and my partner got to the airport real, real early in the morning. Like, we got there with, like, an hour or more to spare before it was boarding time. The fucking line to get through the TSA was so long that I made it on with a minute to spare. Oh my god, airports suck. I guess I'll go get something from the shop to read on the plane. Also, uh, double checking. Is audio balance good? Hey, it auto advanced. Gosh, dang it, Neil. Uh, yeah, yeah, call me when they start boarding. Why the dialogue box closed? Rude. Alright, let's explore. Sun hat looks really good. Hey dad, if I fall asleep on the plane, will I miss a stop? It's not like a bus, kid. Of course not, I'd wake you up. But what if you fall asleep too? Oh no! Oh no! It's not a bus. Don't worry. If I were a bird, my flights would be on time every single time. I hope we don't run into any lightning storms. That'd be fine. Lightning would just pass through the... No, that... Mm. I'm pretty sure planes do have grounding against lightning. But also, like, they're in the sky. There's not a, really a ground to connect to. If they do, they'd have to, like, somehow shoot the lightning bolt back out the bottom. And I don't think they do. Planes generally avoid lightning storms, I think, for a reason. 
Would it pass through us too? I, I don't know. I guess, at the very least, the metal body of the plane would act as a Faraday cage, but like, I'm fuck, hmm, I don't, I would not want a pilot to risk that, to be honest. Spooky. I mean, if, if a pilot feels safe doing it, I, I trust the pilot, but god, that, hmm, that sounds scary. Last time I took the plane, the turbulence was so bad. The oxygen mass drops, uh, dropping startled me so bad much that I couldn't breathe. Hmm. I think that's the oxygen mass failing its job. You see Roxy and Rob yet? No, boarding yet? Nope, keep chatting? No. Bye, Neil. Okay, I'm curious. Yay, it works! Oh my god, it works. That's great. All right, who can we find? Ooh, there's something on the shelves. All right, what's in store today? Move out, move on, the link between process and grief in your environment. The book was, in edit brackets, great from Book Authority magazine. Life after death. And supporting characters. Okay, curious. A book about rehabilitating with the support of those around us. Sometimes the answer really is the friends we've made along the way. Zeno uh, Rittnerson uncovers a way through grief. Your friends and family don't face loss alone. I gotta choose a book. Oh no. Life after death. Death in the family can be life altering. This book shares a series of helpful steps to get back to a normal life after the passing of a loved one. Ah, uh, put it back. Alright, wait, l let's read the last synopsis. Through an autobiographical study, the author shares how to move on from grief. One has to move out from the environment laced with its remnants. Don't have to, but depending on the situation, that's not a, the worst idea. I'm going to force her to... Mm, I'm going to force her to read Supporting Characters. Because that is, that is an incredibly funny title. Weird how they have such a limited selection, huh? Limited? Oh, right, sure. You know what they say, you only see what you need to see. Naira! Had flashbacks to another game in the series for a moment. Don't worry about it. Yeah, okay, Eva is definitely in the memory machine. The, yeah, I, 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 I'm convinced at this point that the entire series has been... Eva's perspective going through, uh, like, someone is going through her memories with the memory machine. I didn't know you were going too. Might as well, I'm already here. A spot for you too, I assume? No, please say hi to the others for me. The others. I doubt they'd remember me here. <laughs> I'm very upset. This entire franchise has been upsetting as hell. I remember a long time. Oh no, your Wi-Fi! Alright, if you have to catch the VOD, you have to catch the VOD. I remember a long time ago when there were less potato chip flavors. It was a different time back then. A time when I spent less time browsing and more time eating. They have food on the plane for free, you know? But they don't have vegetarian there, only chicken. That sounds like a fancy frickin' plane. Chicken- chickens are vegetarian! No, they aren't. They eat worms. Also, what? <laughs> Actually, one moment. Uh, Twitch is reporting that I'm also... My internet is unstable, which is baffling because I've had not a single drop frame. I do not believe you. I do not believe you, Twitch. But I suppose I can tweak it to try and get it to calm down a little bit. Let me see. Um, I have no idea if that actually did anything. Oh well. We're gonna keep going and we're gonna hope the Twitch calms down. It, I haven't dropped any frames, so I have to imagine it's fine. Alright. Duty free means I'd be losing money not buying any bottles here. That would be irresponsible. That... 
I don't think that logic follows, but okay. Alright, now then, can I pull Link's Awakening? Hey, I don't think you paid for that. Ah, you can't just walk out. Alright. Just the book? Just the book. What's with the book selection, by the way? It's all non-fiction. Who knows, I'm not the one who sucks the shelves. Have a good trip. Hey, you might want to hurry. The plane's boarding with or without Roxy and Rob. You could have just called me. Meh, I wanted to catch you in the act of purchasing some questionable book of, uh, questionable book of choice. Well, sorry to be boring. Although I have to say, the book choices for this entire book rack are rather... Hey yo! Hey, they made it. Oh good, we are just about to disown you guys. What you guys gabbering about? Wait, are you... Are you pregnant? Not it. Roxy, how could you? Uh, do you know something I don't? Oh, don't you guys get me started on that fruit of a father. Come on, I'll explain afterwards. Well then, congratulations to Roxy. I want to hear the story there. Also, I didn't get to talk to everyone because I went to the damn bookstore. So anyway, that was how I invented the new lava mint flavor. The patent should arrive any day now. Okay, I'm just gonna ask again. Who's the father? Yeah, that 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 was quite the line, honestly. I I, I like to not to comment on it, but uh, I have thoughts on that line. And Neil, why are you so quiet? What? Why do I need to chime in on this? You're not answering the. Okay, that's enough. It's a watermelon. Rob, you ruined my- Oh my- <laughs> Fruit of a father. Okay, I get it. That's good. That's really good. What? Yeah, a watermelon cannot father human <laughs> children. Neil, please! That's not what they're saying. Wait, never mind. I just thought, you know, we could have the best speech episode ever. And what beach episode doesn't have a good watermelon smashing event? What? Roxy watches a, vi a variety of dubiously cultured shows involving vacation uh, vacation rituals on the beach. Get watermelon, get sick, hit watermelon, and everybody's happy for some reason. She's into anime, good for her. I, uh... I do think it is better with thighs rather than a stick, though. Makes sense. Okay, but can't we just get a watermelon once we're there? Yeah, you're smuggling a watermelon. Please don't get caught. I don't think it'll be an issue, but also don't get caught. And why hide it for that matter? Well, how do you know they even have watermelons where we're going? And customs don't allow fruits or vegetables across the bor uh, border, so... So she decided to become a smuggler. Don't say that on- Oh my god, don't- We should not be having this conversation on the plane. It's not too late to turn back. I don't want to lose a work partner over this. We could just eat it here. Don't you dare touch my baby. We're gonna get it across customs and we're gonna smash it on the beach. It's gonna be our wonderful beach episode. I respect the commitment. I prepared the application for a new partner in case we lose her. Okay, you guys just do what you do. I'm just gonna read. And what are you reading? I'm gonna do it. It's called Supporting Characters. It's about, about... Oh, that book's my jam! You know of it? I mean, you are a supporting character after all. Yeah, it talks about the power of friendship unironically. And that's me, I'm a friend. Right? You are. Well, I guess that's a selfless way to identify yourself. Yeah, so don't hesitate to come chat to me with me about your trauma. Yeah, thanks, but I'm not dealing with any trauma. But you will! What? Everyone will at some point. You have to partner with Neil, so you already have plenty even if you don't know it yet. And when that happens, I'll be right here. Right, thanks. Anything to declare? 
Nothing at all. Just that you are pregnant with a fruit of, uh, with a fruit. Dr. Roxanne Winters, this is your last chance. Her last chance for what? For travel, because I'm allergic to customs, so let's go! I just hope she doesn't go to jail. Eh, maybe she belongs there. No! No! She, she does not belong there. Neil! What in the... Oh, no. Here we go. Okay. What fucking horrors are we walking into? You're here! I knew it! Hi! We thought we'd missed your flights. Mom? Dad? What, what are you doing here? I told you it was a work trip. A work vacation. And we thought, hey, how long has it been since we took a vacation too? Too long. Way too long. So we were like, what if we came and stayed at the same resort? Even though, you, even though one of you is supposed to be dead. What if you don't? Ah, oh, don't worry, we won't bother you. Hello, Eva. Hey. You're embarrassing me in front of her. And even worse, you're gonna embarrass me in front of Rob. No, continue, family's important. See, no need to be a baby about it. Now come here, baby. Oh my god! <laughs> we missed you, son. I can't wait to meet the rest of your colleagues. My current theory is somehow this is in the uh, taking place in the perfect timeline that we made in Imposter Factory. Wow, who knew Neil's so close with his parents, huh? I sure wish my mom and pop were still around. Not so perfect after all. What is it? I don't know. Something just feels a bit off. Yeah, you think? God, this franchise is ex existential horror in a can. Hey, you in here? You in there? Come on, Tong, please. Hello, Earth to Eva? Hello? You good? Yeah, just a bit zoned out from the nap on the drive. No kidding, it's like you've been sleepwalking ever since we got off the van. It's all so fuzzy now, but I think I had a weird dream. Well, you'd better wake up quick because we're here and they only paid for one day's stay. So this is it, huh? Yep, this is it. The all-inclusive Golden Lobster Resort. Those look like crawfish to me. What are you guys waiting out there for? We're getting the keys. Yep, yep, we're coming. Beat you to the best rooms. You get a choice of your room? All right, let's go cash in on our vacation. You go on ahead, I'm just gonna get a bit more fresh air to wake up. You sure you're all right? Yeah, I'll be fine, thanks. All right then, let's explore. Help wanted seeking additional skilled lobster, uh, lobster costume maker. This statue should totally be dancing. Erected over a century ago, the Golden Guardian statue represents our commitment to excellence, resilience, raking in money, and honesty. Hey, at least they're honest! <laughs> Alright, what do we got over here? Empty flower pots? I'm not gonna find much, am I? Oh, 
we can head out to the beach. Nice, nice. She looks familiar. Hey. I remember you from the airport. You all right out here? Are you the one we were talking to at the bookshelf? You are, sure. Just saving a spot for someone. Hmm. Anything else out here? Nothing. Alright. I guess we can check the signs and then we'll head back. Cannot check that sign. Cannot check that sign either. Rude. Okay, I think... I think I've checked everything. Unless there's like something over here by the parking lot. Oh, here we go. Do you want to go for a swim along the shores? No, it's scary out there at night. Yeah, don't don't swim at night, especially on the beach. E. familiar faces, or at least a familiar song, I'm assuming. Come on. They seem preoccupied. Yeah, only two people would know that song. Settling in already? Shh, listen. That sounds pleasant. Doesn't it sound familiar? Kinda. It does seem to repeat itself. You gonna come get the keys? That's been delegated to Roxy. How regal. You seem preoccupied. Let me pester you! Dang it! Come back in a bit if you want to try this game. I'm almost done. I'm curious what game it is. Okay, before I speak to Roxy and Rob, let's check out the dining area. Hey, thanks for the drive. You bet. Have you checked in yet? Roxy's doing it now. We'll probably head up to our rooms after. Well, we'll be here for a while. If you find yourself wandering afterwards, come join us. Green text, important, got it. Hmm. Alright, go talk to the dead parents later. Ah, the hubby's on daddy duty. Finally some me time. And I can finally sit here, doing nothing. Oh no, I forgot my phone. Hey, sometimes it's nice to just relax and do nothing. There is something about checking your phone at the hotel lobby that's different than usual. For one, you're at a hotel lobby. Well said. Alright, seems like the rooms were prepaid for by your company, so let me just... Wait a minute, Sigmund Corp? Isn't that one of the companies that alter memories of the dead? Not the dead, the dying! What a wild career, I can imagine what you've seen. Well, this one time... Confidential. Yeah, it was like super confidential! Wow, I bet. Okay, here are your room key cards. Your luggage have been brought there already. Got you guys four Ocean View rooms, all on the ninth floor. Yay, thank you, I'll get you a coupon for our services. Thanks, but please don't. Your friend has your keycard. Hope you enjoy your stay. Alright, let's go talk to Roxy. I'm tempted to talk to Neil again, if he has any thoughts. Shh! I didn't say anything! You just did. Shh! Alright, he's vibing. Actually, wait, I see a sign. 
The souvenir shop will open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Fair enough. Hey, Eva, could you help me press the elevator button? Yeah, you need so much help. Sure, but why don't you just press it? I'm pregnant, remember? Uh-huh. Do you want Neil's room key? What? To give to him. Oh, you can give it to him yourself. I see what you're implying. Oh, I forgot to mention. Whatever you do, don't go to the basement. Why not? Long story, but it's a big mess and we're not allowed to talk about it. Anyway, its facilities are closed and restricted. Alright, I'm going to the basement. Thank you for telling me. Hey, you coming? So, about that basement. No. Damn it, Code 03 Incident. Code 03? Do you know what that is? No, but it's even crazier than Code 02! Thank you, Roxy. Let's go to the roof. We should check out our... Oh, fine. Boring. Neil, here's your room key. Thanks. Wait, let me see that. Okay, Eva, here's your room key. Thanks. Okay, what are you two doing? They're trying to hook Neil and Eva up, aren't they? All right, we made it in one piece. Four pieces, technically. Um... I'm gonna look something up real quick. Uh, no, no, um... I need a screenshot of the room that Neil... Uh, of, of the hallway that Neil goes into at the end of Imposter Factory. I guess just, like... I can check it later. Here, you know what? Let me write down a note for myself so I remember to check later. I want to check that. I'm very, very, very curious. Four pieces, technically. On that note, the day is done for me. I will take my rest and vacation tomorrow. Me too, calling it a night. Really? I thought you were a night owl, Roxy. Yeah, don't be a Rob. I mean, it's been a long day. Everything's probably closed anyway. Anyway, let's see. My room's 904, which means your rooms are over there, right next to each other. Okay, good night, bye! No subtlety at all. Well, I guess it has been a long day. Power sleep so we can party all the way tomorrow? Sure. Ah, I'm going back downstairs. Uh, I guess I'll talk to Neil first. What are you standing there for? Just fumbling through my keys. There's only one key card. It has two sides. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that sure was... Mm-hmm. That sure is the sound effect of a key card and not opening up a door to the next memory. What are you up to, Neil? Hmm? What the fuck are you up to? Well, that did it. That's the right side, he says. Hey. Want to go somewhere? You know, it's still not too late in the evening. Want to come with me to see if anything's happening around the resort? Yeah, let's go and... Yep, okay. Uh-huh. Mmm. Maybe not tonight. It's been a long trip and the haze is kicking in. Plenty of time tomorrow, though. Catch you then? Sure. Good night. Night and night. I'll see you in the morning. Damn it! Foiled by the machine! Foiled by the fucking memory machine! God damn it! I don't need sleep. I need answers. Still won't let me there. I'll check out the rooftop. And then we'll go down and talk to uh, Quincy and Linry. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Something about that character design is terrifying. Also kind of reminds me of All Might. The rooftop swimming pool is occupied. Occupied? That's right. It's being used for a special private event. Maybe I could figure out a way to check it out. What kind of event? Not sure about the details, but it was booked for a grand sum. 
Some big shots from that memory editing company, Sigmor, uh, Sigmund Corp, apparently. Well, I've got an idea right here. Actually, I'm also from Sigmund Corp. Oh, uh, is this a Sigmund Corp event? I guess it did say they're on a company vacay. Maybe? I think it might be. It is a company-sponsored vacation, after all. True, I guess that makes sense. All right, you may pass, then. All right, what's happening up here? Look, time the, the way the pale moonlight drapes over the landscape. All that distance just to make its way to you. Oh, Willis, it's been 50 years and you still know how to make a lady blush. It reminds me of the moment I first laid my eyes on those irresistible cheeks of yours. A few more wrinkles in when we started, I'm afraid. Not these cheeks. Oh my. Oh, ho, oh, oh, you sly vixen. I have walked in on something. Mr. Waiter, please bring in that bottle of champagne and... Eva? Willis? Tyma? I'm gonna tease him. Hey, I know it's a bit awkward and all, but... I don't think I've ever told you two how nice it is to see you around the office. See us around the office? To see a couple who have been together for a lifetime and still keep the fire alive, you know? I don't think that's so common, and it's just a sweet reminder that it's possible. Oh, dear, that is so nice to hear you say that. It sure isn't as easy as it looks, though. Oh, ho, ho, it sure isn't. What do you mean? Fires don't light themselves, Eva. Nor do they keep burning without being fed. Aye, and who do you think is doing the heavy lifting? Oh, the pale moonlight drapes over the landscape. My lord, the cheese! Oh my, it was so hard to keep a straight face. Wait, you mean, you were just acting? To whom? To ourselves, of course, and I wouldn't say it's acting, but we do have our fun. And sometimes she genuinely finds my cheese to watch. <laughs> Shut up! No, none of that. Oh, this is actually really sweet, though. He does have his moments. The point is, we start with a dramatic hand that not even we take seriously, but it always grows into something more genuine as we go. Always. That's just our way, though. But different people have different ways. I see. Now, dear, when you said that we're a sweet reminder that it's possible, is it something you want? Me? I suppose, of course. And I think you should go for it. Excuse me? Whether it's long or short, a lifetime is still a lifetime. I don't think you should shy away from what's possible. Taima. And neither should he. What? Taima? Anyway, we have this place reserved for the night. Just let us know if you'd like to use it, dear. We'd be happy to share. <laughs> Thanks. Make it a double date. I assume there's nobody else up here. Though I do want to see what this is. Oh, just a chimney. Fair enough. Oh dear, how can you always come up with so much cheese? A lifetime of practice with you. Fair enough. You two have fun. I will leave you be. Down to the lobby we go. Still annoyed we got foiled for hanging out with uh, Neil by the memory machine. Dang it! That's it for me. I've run out of quarters. Hey, that's available now. Let's go give it a try. At least it set a new high score. What is this? It's Arcade. I mean, what game? Arcade. The game is called Arcade. You play as the average arcade enjoyer trying to find and play the best game in the arcade. And that game is none other than Arcade itself. What? It's simple. You find Arcade in the arcade and then play more Arcade inside that arcade. Look, just give it a try yourself and experience the magic. Hi, Amanda. And then if you still don't get it, just talk to me for some hints. Not to brag, but I've been playing this game so much that I practically built it. Alright, let's play uh let's play arcade in your arcades. So you can play more arcade in your arcade while you play arcade in your arcade. When in doubt, to just ignore everything else and only look for the pink machines.
Okay. I guess, yeah, we're just going up to all the machines. No, these are, uh, these are green to me. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so you can go to the green machines for extra points, but the goal is to reach the pink machines. And every level, it's another... Okay. It's another screen down. Hey, Amanda, you've, uh, you've played the To The Moon games, I assume, I hope. Oh, crap, where is it? Got it. Oh, then there's a very high risk of spoilers, because this is kind of like the epilogue to the franchise. At least from what I understand. I think... Pretty sure Ken Gao said something about that a while back. Where is the pink machine? Oh, I'm about to run out of time. Alright, well, fair enough. Hey, I set the high score and I'm out of here. Oh my goodness, Amanda, you need to play the To The Moon games. They're so good. Holy crap, they are genuinely so good. Wait a minute. Did you just beat my high score? It appears that a challenger has appeared. It's time to break out my reserve quarters. I'm gonna beat your high score yet. Damn, locked out. But yeah, uh, you, you should play them. They are very, very good. They are very emotional. You will cry. That's good, now just shift your weight from left to right as you play. You know, as if you're only sitting on half your bum at a time. Ah. Uh... I knew it! Yeah, there's the flow. Now, would you like to try it together like we practiced? Yes. Yes! Yes! Why are you alive? Also, why are you so fucking young? You should be like 50 years older than Eva. Also, why are you alive? Eva, you've checked into your room already. Come, sit with us for a while. Hang on, let me talk to phone lady. If only I can store me time in a bottle and save it for a rainy day. Mood. So, are Neil and the others hanging out up there? They've all called it an early night. What a waste of opportunity. Nighttime is prime time. It has been a long trip. They're just resting up for tomorrow. Well, you seem to have energy left yourself. I got some sleep in the car, I think. Thanks for the ride, by the way. It was a surprise seeing you guys at the airport. I know, I know, it's going over the line for us to come. But it was so strange, it felt like we haven't seen him in forever and we just had to come by. <sighs> Linry, you're supposed to be dead! Why are you here?! Has, has he not been in touch much since he moved out? He barely returns my calls! Oh, no kidding. He comes over now and then, but you know, he has his own life now. You should drag him over more, Eva. You came over more often to hang out with him back uh, back then than when he comes over to visit us now. Okay, yeah, this is perfect timeline from Imposter Factory. I am convinced. I still remember getting excited thinking he was bringing over his girlfriend. Heh, <laughs> sorry to disappoint. Oh, it's very cool. What's better than a girlfriend? A girl. Friend. Wait a minute. Did you friend zone him? It's not a real thing. Of course it is! Shut up, Quincy. Right? Shut up, Quincy. Dumbass. Uh, I don't know. It's complicated. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! <laughs> okay, you two knock it off. The concept of friend zone, I mean. Not between Neil and me. Ooh, oh. Of course. Sorry we got ahead of ourselves there. So how are you two doing? Why are you alive, Linry? You know, it has been a long while since I've seen you two. Oh, and be quiet. How's the empty nest going? Oh, we've been busy, that's for sure. He means he's been busy planning to travel the world once more. I'm gonna visit all the exotic places humanity has ever known. At it again, huh? You bet. Neil and Linry get enough kicks from digital replicas, but me? I gotta have the real thing, I tell ya. 
Oh, please, for the nth time, you would not be able to tell in such a simulation. I sure can fucking tell! Every time, there's so many fucking hits constantly! Han, let's not start this debate again. Well, what about you? How are you keeping occupied? Well, first, I'm gonna have to go with him, just to, you know, keep him in check. When we get back, though... Oh my god, phone, why? Phone, why? Cat! My door is under attack from a cat. The cat has entered the door. When we get back, though, I want to pick up where I left off all those years ago. Yeah, Doom just opened the door. Hi, Doom. You gonna hop up? You gonna hop up on my desk? Hello. Hop up. But I'm playing a game, so you're gonna very much be in the way, Doom. Hi there. At the very least, come purr for the microphone so people can hear you. Anyways, some independent research, maybe even start a small academy. With all the tools available nowadays, it's possible to make a difference even without grand backings. And with what you two do at Sigmin Corp, it's kind of inspiring, really. Hey, Doom, our friend Amanda says hi. Well, if you ever want some inside help, call me up. NDA with Sanding, that is. I'll keep that in mind. You said Neil still comes over sometimes. How does he seem to be doing when he, uh, when he does? What do you mean? You see him way more than us nowadays. Yeah, but you know how it is. Ever since the operation, I just want to make sure he's okay. Okay. Definitely perfect timeline, then. Why? Does he not seem to be? I don't know. I suppose he is, but... I'm sorry. I don't know why I asked that. But now that I think about it, he seems to be fine. He seems to be more fine than ever, actually. Okay, Neil, are you the one rewrite? Okay, I am... I know, we know for a fact that Neil is the one in charge of the simulation. Uh, because he's the one who's using the memory orbs to go through the door earlier. But why is he fucking rewriting memories? Wh why did he just rewrite Eva right there? What? What is... Mm, is he trying to prevent her from realizing what's going on? That's my best guess. Why are we in Eva's memories? Yeah, he seems to be happy when he comes over. Of course he's fine. The only thing that's not fine is that he's not coming to visit enough. Alright, I think that's it. Well, I should probably head off for some rest myself. Will we see you guys tomorrow? You bet. We'll try to stay out of the way, though. I know Neil doesn't want us to tag along and embarrass him. Oh, he's just acting like a teenager. Join us all you like. Oh, thank you, Eva. If only he could see us like what you like you do. Okay, the only patient we haven't seen yet is... Uh, you would really need to play the games to understand what's happening. Like, you're getting major spoilers right now. Like... These two are the main char- uh, these two down here, Johnny and River, they're kind of the main characters, or the focus of the first game. And Quincy and Linry over there are kind of the focus of the third game. The fact that they are alive is a major spoiler, so like, you're getting spoiled right now. Well, Quincy- Quincy is known to be alive, but uh, Linry's supposed to be dead. And even just the fact that they are related to the main characters is a spoiler, but uh, they said that in game, so. Fair enough. Praise memory problems. Actually, you know what? Let's let's give one more attempt at the basement. Let's give one more attempt at the basement. It won't let me, but I'm gonna try. Nope. All right. Let's get back out. Oh! You just sent me to the lobby. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, I guess we can check out the suites and then we'll find our room. Roxanne. That doesn't sound like real snores at all. Zzzz. Yeah, that's not real snoring, Roxanne. Eva? Oh, hey. Come by for a moment if you would. Okay. Alright, Rob, what's up with you? So, what did you want to say? What do you want in life, Eva? Uh, what do I want? In life. Okay. Neil and Rob are both in on it. Is Roxanne in on it? Roxanne might be in on it. 
I'm pretty sure vacations are for getting away from questions like that. For some, perhaps, but it's also some of the only moments when you have to ponder away from the clockwork. Just humor me, will you? Well, just the normal things like most people. But be reasonably happy, find meaning and peace, things like that. Good, remember that big picture. Sometimes we get stuck in a small part of what we want and that we stop seeing the whole. That's it, thanks for coming by. That's it? That's all you wanted to say? Thanks for humoring me, there's not much more I can say like this. Aha, uh -huh, okay, yeah, he's definitely in on it. He's definitely working with Neil. It, you speak as if someone's watching us. I'm sorry, I think I'm just a bit tired from the trip. All right. Okay, that makes me suspicious of Sigmund Corp itself, but they were always suspicious. Dang it, I thought it was connected rooms. Oh well. Oh wait, dang it. I should get some rest myself. I wanted to check the toilet paper! Let's go pester Neil real quick and then we'll go to our room. Alright. Not pester Neil, I guess. Ooh, plant! Check in the toilet paper before I forget. It's not gonna let me check the toilet paper, very rude. There is a running gag in a few of the games where the Neil and Eva fight over toilet paper. I wanted to see if we had any follow-ups to that. It's like uh, it's like Phoenix and Maya fighting over step ladders. Okay. Got a suitcase. All right, I don't think there's much more to explore, so let's end the night. Kneel time. No kneel time. And now he comes out. Yep. These two suck. Come on. Just talk to each other already. <laughs> of course. A oh, fucking chorus. <laughs> Fuck you, telescope. Oh, these four are such dorks. He fucking slept out there till morning? Oh my goodness! Haha, <laughs> shut up. I don't wanna- I don't wanna think about that. I don't wanna think about what Noah did to her. Room service! Oh, for the- Oh my- he is a snack. I'm kidding. Don't take that seriously. Surprise! Eva? I'm over here. It was perfect ex perfect execution right until the end. I beg to differ. You sure seem well rested at least. Gotta be in order to make the most of the one vacation we're gonna have all year. I'm gonna squeeze every drop out of this day like it's the last lemon in the world. I guess that's one way to deal with what life gives you. Are Roxy and Rob up yet? You kidding me? Roxy's been up since sunrise. And Rob? I don't think Rob even sleeps. I think they're downstairs already. Alright, let's go find them. Oh, I'm pretty sure they'll find us. Yeah, probably. We're gonna get jump scared at some point. My room? There's nothing to see there. Uh-huh. You're sure you're not running your perfect simulation another layer deep in there? You saw what happened. They've gone downstairs already. I know, I'm just pestering. I'm being annoying. 
thought, yeah, I, I'm aware. I'm just curious. You never know when annoying persistence will pay off. Anyways, we're going to the basement. Oh my god! Oh hey, you're here. And you are here. What the? Have you been waiting in the elevator all morning? No, I wasn't waiting. I was reading. The elevator goes up, comes down, and then up again. It is truly no different from life itself. Is it, Rob? Is it really? Anyhow, to read in such a place has been a thrill. But now that you're here, let's go find Roxanne. Right, do you know where she is? No, which is strange since it's usually harder to find to be where she isn't. Well, guess we're playing Roxy Roulette. Uh, basement. It's code 17! What happened? A new incident? Alright, let's go rooftop first. It was code 3 last night! Why is it code 17? Oh, there's a lot of people up here. Do I see Colin over there? I was just doing some sketches of the ocean when this lady came by. She looked like someone I drew for work, so I just made a sketch reflexively. Wanna see it? Sure. Ooh! That is a very good sketch. She is very pretty. Thanks for checking it out, and now that that's out of the way, it's time for some epic gotcha pulls. Have fun with your gotcha. You again. Still waiting for whatever? No, not really. Although, did you know there were phytoplankton at the beach late last night? Ooh, I wish I could have seen. A couple of hours after you stopped by, fuck! Could have explored more. The glowing kind? Yeah, it was nice. You should go see it. How do you know it's still gonna show tonight? Not tonight. Last. Ah ha! Mm hmm, mm hmm. Alright. Yeah, they're telling me to play the damn game again. Fair enough. Alright, making another note. Two things on my to-do list. No, it, hello, what are you two doing up here, still alive? You're up, morning. Good morning. hey -o. So what are you two up to today? Oh, you know, we're probably gonna take it easy and stay up here. Catch some sun, catch some rain. That's probably for the best. I've got some reading to catch up on. And I've got some drinks to demolish. What is that? It's the Cooler Master X4000, I think. I see they repurposed my, uh, Ricebot. Hello, Ricebot. We're just using it as a cooler. Someone threw it away and left it on our porch. Joke's on them, though. It makes cool sounds and came with a pool noodle inside. I see it's still fused with the cat. Well, the pool noodle does look nice. Yeah, it's perfect. Well, don't let us anchor you here. There's a lot to do on the island. Go out and have a great day. Thanks, we'll try to make the most of it. Yep, smell you two later. Okay, the fact that Lunaire knows we're in a simulation has me really freaked out. Psst, you should talk with him more. You don't get a lot of chances to do that. Eh, not like I have much to say. Neil, please! Your mother's dead in reality, and you don't talk to your father! Talk to them more! Go on, don't have too much fun without us now. Psh, as if that's possible without me. It was nice on the beach last night. You should go see it then. I will. I can't believe it. Ten pulls and all I got was emotional damage. That's these games. Hey Sarah, come up for some stack when you're done spinning in there. Yep, just a minute. Still have not seen Colin yet. Hey, I'm bored. You just gonna float in there all day? Yeah, this is the life. You wanna come in here? There's room. What? 
It's that floaty is way too small for the two of us. I meant the pool. Uh, oh. Okay. Are they dating? Or does she have a crush? Or do they both have a crush and he's teasing her? Alright, let's head back downstairs. I feel sad that we didn't go see the pl uh, phytoplankton on the beach. And head down to the lobby. Okay, what do we have down here today? Morning, Eva! Glad to see y'all made it! Hey, yeah, we got here a little late last night. You guys gonna go on the excursions today? Nah, we're just gonna chill on the beach today. Could use some downtime. The last patient had some extreme memories, if you know what I mean. Yeah, good luck winding down. Yep. Good luck with that. Hey, arcade's available for me to play again. Wow, that's... That's so neat. I didn't know plants came in jellyfish form. Inverted planters, clever use. I wonder if they sell them in there. Oh yeah, Eva loves jellyfish. Who the fuck is sitting in the top left corner? I'm gonna check out the shop later because checking out the shop first screwed me over back at the uh, airport. I say we go to the lighthouse. It's like a temple of sorts. Well, I say we go to the extreme beach. It's actually fun for a change. What do you think, uh, Isla? Don't put the pressure on her. She's clearly extreme. Also, nice Monokuma outfit. Hope you enjoy your stay at the Golden Lobster. If you need anything, just give us a pinch. Ha ha. Poo hoo hoo hoo! Yeah, it's a fucking Monokuma outfit! I can't believe I missed breakfast hours. It left without a trace. The snacks are nice, but the breakfast was epic. Dang, we missed breakfast. I gotta remember the spot if we play hide and seek. Ooh! There might be hide and seek later. Let's head out to the beach. Hey, maybe we should check out the gift shop just in case. Fine, Neil. Maybe we should play the piano. Say, Rob, you know how to play the piano, right? Why do you think that? I mean, you're... You're... Oh my god, Neil! <sighs> Neil? That's kind of racist, Neil. What the fuck? Hey, it's a... Neil! Why do you always suck? Eva's right, the color of my skin has nothing to do with what I do. But yes, I do play the piano. Neil... Would you like to hear it? I mean, sure, that'd be nice. Oh god, what did I ask? Neil... Okay, here I go. It's been a while though, so I'm a little rusty. Okay, hold on. What is that? It's chopsticks. Excuse me? He said it, not me. It's the piece. Its name is... Oh my god. What the... This, this joke sucks. <laughs> this joke is not landing, I think. Not with me, at least. Oh. Do you know how to play anything else? No, only chopsticks. Would you like to hear it again? That's... that's okay, thanks. Cool. Always happy to perform. Can... Can Gal, why did you do this? Why? Alright, moving on. Who's... who's the dork in the northwest corner? Well, there, I'm not for sale. I'm just waiting. The LARP con won't be happening here for another week, but I'm patient. Yeah, you wait for another week. A selection of alcohol. Do you still drink, Eva? I haven't in a while. I think? You think? I mean, it's weird. I don't think so, but I feel like I have been? Are you drunk right now? No. 
And those memories are all fucked up. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's continue to be horrified. A pair of frog buddy plushies. Frogs have really been getting popular nowadays. Maybe it's because they look like avodados. That's a typo. Oh, dear. That's, like, two typos I've noticed. That's unusual. They normally are more on top of that with these games. Pots of cacti. A lot harder to smuggle than a watermelon, that's for sure. <laughs> do, do, do not, do not shove that into your belly and pretend that it is a baby. A shelf of wrapped rum cakes. It would be a sad day to be drunk off of cake. It doesn't sound so sad. It's cake! A uh, but, uh, bucket of golden lobster plushies. These don't look so fresh. Well, yeah, they're all hairy. A box of parasols for the beach. Alright, let's check out the obvious glow. A collection of jellyfish-like inverted plants with- Oh, Eva's getting these. These are the ones hanging at the entrance, right? Seems like it. Are you gonna get one? I mean, I kinda swore off buying things from souvenir shops. Okay, but Eva, it's jellyfish. I know you love jellyfish. Plus, it'd be a hassle to bring back. It's beautiful, though. Eva! If there's anything that claws your attention or tickles your whiskers, just let me know. Guess we're not getting anything. Now, you know what? I'm gonna insist. Get yourself a damn jellyfish planter. Fine. Let's head outside. Alright, what can we find out here? Motorcycles upset me in this series. Uh, specifically because there was a motorcycle that was fucking plot important in, uh... Finding Paradise. And now I'm stressed seeing them. Because what if it means the same thing here that it did there? Someone's sleepy. Hey, Eva, are out getting the day started? Yeah, we're gonna go around town and try some activities today. Alright, talk to you later, Amanda. Great, Eddie, Logan, and I are just gonna relax on the beach. Although, Eddie was so excited to go to the beach that he was up all night, all night last night. And now he crashed here before he can even make it to the beach. Yeah, keep an eye on him, will ya? Always. Ooh. Bus stop is glowing. Okay, let's head up to the beach first. Oh, it's them! Wow, look at her go! How come we never got to learn to dance like that, Mommy? Because we didn't have the budget at the time, sweetie. For dance lessons, I mean. And also for the game's animations. Hi, Potato. Ma said that instead of sitting around and potating all day, I should dance. We spent our life savings on that dance lesson. But at least she's making the most of it. Good, good developer, uh, good development joke. Well, that's it. that isn't really my problem now, is it? Of course it is! It's your watermelon pile! And it's your watermelon. Hey, what's going on here? Say! Okay, we are absolutely confirmed without a fucking doubt. I mean, it was confirmed already, but fucking Faye being here. Hi, Faye. Hi. Hi. You're here. In quote unquote reality. Fuck, I hate how stressful this is. Well, this young lady here dropped her watermelon on my pile in shock. And now she's blaming me for not knowing which one is hers. It's my special watermelon! I practically carried it in me for the whole six hour flight! If it's so special, why can't you tell it apart from the rest of them? Because it's a stupid watermelon! Whether birthed or adopted, what truly matters for a watermelon's is responsibility. That's not helping, Rob! Okay, look, maybe we could take a- help take a- Wait a minute, let me see that. Hey, yeah, I recognize which one it is. Really? Duh, see this pattern over here? That's the one yours had. Oh. Oh! Phew, thanks, Neil. I'm gonna hide in a safe spot for good this time. It, it, is, 
It's a bouncy ball. It's the fucking bouncy ball from the first game. Just, is that really the one? Eh, who knows. Alrighty, so what are we doing? Guess we were just grouping up with you, but now that's a check mark. I spent all morning looking through the tourism booklets and blogs. Allow me. So, there are three points of interest today. Hello, Lighthouse. One, the Extreme Sports Beach, which, offer, which offers paragliding and competitive power surfing. Two, the Cliffside Lighthouse, a prime spot for ocean watching and local history. And River is absolutely going to be there. Hello there, bots. Goodbye, bots. And three, a one-star restaurant nearby where we can go for lunch. That sounds terrible. It's one Michelin star. The rubber tire? Anyways, moving on to weather planning. We have sunny skies from morning till noon. Then, in the afternoon, with a brief period of rain. The sky clears after that, and we'll watch the sunset from this beach at the end of the day. So, there you have it, our day ahead of us. To get started, we can wait for the bus at the stop in front of the hotel street side. Thanks, Rob, that's pretty comprehensive. Oh, I do have something planned for us, too. It's actually just inside the hotel, so we can just go back there when you're ready. Indoors? I guess we can do it when it's raining in the afternoon. I mean, that's one boring way to do it, but whatever, I guess. Shall we get the day started, then? Yeah, let's check out the beach first. I heard there's an interesting area to the side, too. Okay, so what do we have here? On the far right, I see Linry and Quincy buried under a sandcastle. And to our left, I see Johnny and River, and River has her platypus. Oh, she has her platypus plushie, and she has a platypus in her tube. I love that. Yeah, let's check out the beast. Oh, okay, I already read this one. Wait, where did that lady go? Oh my god, I didn't even notice Faye leaving. Who knows? I can't believe she just left all those watermelons here, too. Maybe we should take one. Don't cheat on my watermelon! That's not how it works. It's your watermelon, not mine. In fact, that's not how any of that works. They're all dorks. Hello, Johnny and River. Yep, it's not too far from here. Let's visit there first. What's its name again? The Euphony Lighthouse. And it's functional? Yes. Yes! Let's go! Sweet, maybe we could learn some upkeep from the lighthouse keeper to bring back the Anya! Yes, I would like that very much. Anya mentioned! Hell yeah! Oh my god, I fucking love these games. Ah, oh, Johnny, you're so good. River is the best. River is absolutely the best. I'm glad Johnny's being good. Wow, what are you painting? Sunset. But it's not sunset yet. I'm painting how it will be. That's some next level skill. Why do I get the vibe that like a few of the characters we have met so far are probably actual developers, like concept artists and whatnot? Anya is carved on the sand sculpture! Ah! It's so cute! Oh my god, there's so many people here. I won't swim the whole way around the earth in 80 days. Uh-huh. Sure. My friend says he swam around the earth in 80 days, which is crazy! When I did it, it took me at least 100. Terrifying. I visited this resort a long time ago. Back then, it was still the Bronze Lobster Resort before they did a paint over. Mom, there are fish in here. Careful if you see any big ones. Don't go in too deep now. It took me all morning to blow this up. And now I'm too tired to go swimming. Oh no! Get an air pump. It's worth it. Jump in the urinal and stand on your head, I'm the one that's alive. You are all dead. Ubik. Oh, the profanity to read that at this moment. That's nice, Joel. Or Joel. Someone's pretentious as hell. Did you see that monster wave while I was out there? It was a hundred meters tall. Good thing I was there to flatten it. I doubt the hotel would have survived its onslaught. Uh-huh. You got tossed around like a ragdoll out there. I thought you said you were pro. I am a pro. A pro stuntman. Oof. 
You want iced coffee? We're all out. Ah, nothing like pondering life's deepest questions over a cup of iced coffee. Or two, or three, or four, or five, or six. All I can do is five. Deal. Do you like wombats? Did you know they have cube-shaped poo? I did know that, actually. Man, I was just taking a walk here last night when the most terrible thing happened. Out of nowhere, a telescope came down from the sky and hit me on the head! Uh, hey, Roxy. Do you happen to know whose it is? Nope. Well, if you ever find out, let me know. Yup. Dumbasses. Rudog! Ruff! Rudog, dig, dig, dig! Rudig and I worked like a team to make this wonder. I shoveled out the sand and he built a castle. He's the best. Oh, I was wrong. This isn't Quincy and Linry. This is fucking Colin and Sophia. Oh no, we're trapped. Shh, we aren't trapped. We're ancient titans buried, in, buried beneath the castle walls. Of course, when the time comes upon us, we shall r rumble and rise. And rush to the bus headed onto the extreme beach. Don't make me choose. Don't make me choose who I get to talk to at the uh, at the tourist spots. This is it. Today I'm getting the tan of the century and cancer. My daughter got brainwashed. Now all she wants to do is meet some kind of a shark baby. Oh no, baby shark! I'm not doing it. I will save your ears. No, you be the goalie and I'll shoot the ball. You be the goalie and I'll shoot the ball. You two, just keep fighting. We're playing ball versus Gundam. Uh, you... Ball is winning 19 to one. 20 to one. Oh no. You killed the Gundam. Some days feel like things were just meant to be. I guess today is one of those days. One of those strange days. Hey Dad, you ready for the next build? Yeah, I got a good feeling about this one. Try a banana kick next. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is actually Ken Gao and his family. The extreme beat seems pretty fun, and with this insider's tourist guide, I'll be unstoppable. Okay, so I am right. A, bu a bunch of the characters here are, in fact, the developers. Oh, Willis, that sculpture of a body of yours. I saw an artist painting on the beach. Maybe we should get him to paint to you. No, I talked to him earlier, and he says he only paints the future. And we all know what's in the future for me. Oh. In the hotel room with you. Oh. TV on, playing bingo. Oh. <laughs> you tease! Oh, well, it's your turning passerby's heads. Oh, stop it, you. I'm glad they're happy. Just get in already. This hole kills the germs. I'm afraid to go in the water. I bet it's filled with fish pee. It's too dilute. It's not going to hurt you. All right, then. Uh, apologies, Can Gal, for uh, getting your Gundam destroyed. Up ahead, the beach of Ma Hey, over here! Oops, not what I meant to click. Actually, there's a menu. Let's see. Oh yeah, give me that integer scaling. There we go, nice. Pixel perfect. Oh yeah, that, that looks really good. That looks so much better. All right, can we take a look at, nah, no profiles? Actually. Oh, interesting. They all just spin on random timers. You know, this part of the beach is particularly special. They say thousands of messages from all over the world are buried beneath the sand here. Here, you're gonna need this beach scanner. We got the beach scanner. A uh, metal detector. Hold space while walking to scan for messages buried on this beach. Right, 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 right. This is a... Uh... 
uh, if you back the board game, I think, and you pledge enough money, you would be able to put a message on the beach here. So there's going to be a whole bunch of messages from fans here. Just remember to put them back whenever you read one. Why isn't she going back to her watermelon stand? I don't know, Roxy. I don't know. Welcome to Memory Beach. I treasure trove of thoughts from all over the world. Yeah, let's play some music. What are the mixed saves? I'll let it play for a bit. Found a note? And it crashed! Oh no! No, it's not. Yeah, that's a full crash. Gosh dang it. Alright, let's not do the um. Let's not play around with the memory beach then. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Please tell me it auto-saved. Please, please tell me it auto-saved. Oh, no! Okay. That's unfortunate. At least we can check out this. We can wait for the bus here after finding Roxy. Alright, let's go get Roxy. We've already talked to... I guess we can talk to Ken before his Gundam breaks. Alright, let's just speed through since we've already done this. Actually, is there... Is there a button that just speeds through? I'm so sad it crashed! I'll have to see if there's some way to file a bug report, probably in the Discord. I forgot to pay attention to when Faye leaves. Ah, shoot. Oh, it was probably when we cut away to the map, actually. Okay, let's go pester Ken Gao, check out the Gundam. A sand Gundam sculpture. Some days feel like things were just meant to be. I guess today is one of those days. One of those strange days. Hey, Dad, you ready? Hang on, let me just fix the V-fin again first. Try a banana kick next. Ghost feather. I can't grab the ghost feather. Alright, Sky, kick your ball again. 20 to 1! Oh no! Alright, skip through this. We'll just talk to everyone and then we'll move on. Okay, what can we find here? I could start a lost and found with all the stuff I've misplaced today. First my hat, now my dignity. Where'd your dignity go? I used to come here when I was a kid, and now I'm taking my own kids here. I found a shell that looks like a unicorn horn. Maybe there are beach unicorns. Ooh, those are fun shells. And you are buried. Ow, something cold is against my neck. Oh, sorry! That's the metal detector! That's a good bit. Building a snowman out of sand is harder than it looks. Frosty here is more lumpy than jolly. I mean, it's worth an attempt. Honestly, never considered that. 
I swear I've lost more flip-flops on this beach than I have memories of where I put them. Maybe I should start burying them in bottles too. I just saw someone wearing flip-flops with socks. Bold move. That is a big ass sandcastle. See that little sand fountain over there? That's right, you're looking at its creator. This one? Good job. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm more impressed by this. Zero is here. I just saw a crab scuttle away with one of those message bottles. Oh no, thief! What's that bird doing on that sand tower? Why not? It's a bird. Does it, it doesn't look like a seabird either. I didn't come to the beach to bird watch. And aren't you gonna finish digging that hole? Dig the hole. Is that a hawk? I thought you were here to dig that hole, not to bird watch. I've reapplied sunscreen so many times, it's a waste that there's no slip and slide here. Oh no. Someone's slick. These chips are good, but they taste even better with less sand mixed in. Yeah, you should probably be careful about that. Found another message in a bottle. It says, meet me at sunset. Either someone's making memories or I'm about to crash a date. Interesting. Let me make a note of that. Actually, wait, we get here at night. Okay. That'll be... Sunset on beach. Now, that'll be later in the game, I think. Sizzle me, son! You have fun there. Alright, now then, let us head onwards. Wondering if I should do the hotel thing now or wait till it's raining. I'm gonna wait till it's raining. Um. Oh, everyone's hopping on board. Everyone is hopping on board. Oh dear. So I have to choose who I get to hang out with. Crap. Well, I wanna I wanna talk to Johnny and Rivermore. Let's go to the lighthouse. Here we are, the scenic local lighthouse. Hey, didn't you guys have a patient who lived at a lighthouse? Oh yeah, come to think of it. Don't think of it, don't think of it, don't think of it. Come on, let's go see if we can go all the way to the top. Ah. Welcome to the Euphony Lighthouse. Strange, I swear the name of this place was just the Cliffside Lighthouse. Just admit you were remembered wrong. Impossible, I always read my pamphlets with utmost care. Okay, up to the top. The Euphony Lighthouse, in memory of Jordan Euphony. Oh. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, they were an early contributor to the series. Um, they were an early supporter and contributor. I forget, did they work on the games directly? Uh, they passed away some years ago. Rest in peace. That this is a good memorial for them. Uh, let me see. All right, I. You know what? Let's let's keep going. Yeah. Rest in peace, George Bear. Day 17, I'm so screwed. Oh. A diary, but I only get to read day 17? And power's confirmed functional. Yeah, it even has a backup power drop, but still. 
The problem must be more severe than I'd feared. What's going on here? The lighthouse! It's broken! I've tried switching new light bulbs not just once but twice and it still didn't work. I'm all out of ideas. Oh, this is terrible. It might have something to do with the socket base. More specifically, the contact tabs in this model are prone to corrosion. The contact tabs? Hey, mind if we take a look? Oh my god! <laughs> wow, she's right, these tabs are not registering. Some displacement too, no wonder it's disconnecting. That was a, that was a quick assessment, young lady. Are you an electrician? No. But she would know. She's seen and studied a lot of lighthouses inside and out. Yeah, she's autistic and she has a special interest in lighthouses and I love her very much. She's so good. Oh, thank God you came along. I'm surprised you didn't catch it, though. I... I... That's rude, Roxanne. I mean, I just figured a real lighthouse keeper would. I can't take the pre Oh, I can't take the pressure anymore. Now I understand the diary. You've caught me. I'm not a real lighthouse keeper. I'm just lighthouse keeping for a friend. I, I'm just some guy. Some guy named Guy. And this beard is not even my real beard. It's just, it's the beard of the real lighthouse keeper. The ceramic? The real lighthouse keeper is okay though, right? Oh yeah, he's just on vacation and living the prop. He'll be, he'll be back next week. Phew, anyways. Would you be able to help us fix it? Easy peasy. Yeah, we can salvage enough copper here for the contact. We do need some solder and a soldering iron, though. Ooh, I think I know a guy. Name's Dave. Blue hair hangs out at the extreme beach. I've seen him working on his speedboat with it sometimes. Great, let's give him a call. I don't have a phone. Okay. Uh, extreme beach. Blue hair. Speedboat. Dave. Send to Lighthouse. Got it. You what? Hey, I'm trying to be in character as the Lighthouse Keeper. That's not how real Lighthouse Keepers are. That's fine, we'll just give him a visit then. Neil? Yeah, yeah, I didn't sign up to be a hero, but no point in escaping fate. Hey, would you guys like a ride there? We got a rental car. Sure, thanks. We'll hold the fort then. Good luck. Okay, we're just going right there. I didn't even make need to make a note. So, what do you guys do? Hmm? For a living? Ha! Funny you should ask! Yeah, don't mean to prod, but there's a certain mystical aura about your group. Man, maybe I really should stop with the sandals on socks. It's drawing too much attention. It was you! I'm curious, too. You know how to fix lighthouses, but you don't seem like most electricians. Well, we're doctors of some sort. And detectives of the bestest sort. The bestest detectives. More like the controversial sort. Herman Corp? Uh, that's our competitor, but you're on the right track. Sigmund Corp? Man, I thought y'all were an urban legend. Is it really true? Can you guys really give people another chance to live? In a manner of speaking, sure. In fact, you were our first patients! You just don't know that. All in your head, of course we don't actually resurrect zombies. No offense, but I've always wondered about the people who use the service. I mean, change their entire life's worth of memories. It just seems so wrong. Yes, I don't see the point of it myself. It would be like lying to yourself about things that never happened. It doesn't change the reality of things one bit. <laughs> Awkward! That being said, I've learned that just because I don't care for something, sometimes other people do. And that's fine. If someone wants to do it for themselves, I think we should respect their choice. Even, and sometimes especially, if they may not understand it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, River. She's fucking hitting the nail on the head. Hey, Johnny, you should fucking listen to her. You should listen to her and understand her choices, huh? I suppose so. Oh, she. Oh, this is absolutely. This is absolutely. She's. She's digging barbs at him for uh, how he hit. How he treated her over Anya. I guess I just don't know if I'd ever consider something like that myself. Maybe if there's a big reason, or if I'm really desperate. I 
can't imagine what that could possibly be, though. I shouldn't have stayed up beating that arcade high score. Yeah, that's what you get. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't beat his high score. When out in the ocean, sometimes you ride the waves, sometimes you wipe out. But just make sure to remember where the shore is and don't provoke sharks. Very good advice. I am never going to surf. I am not fit enough for it. But it looks like fun. Hey, there's Quincy. Ah, oh, god damn it. Name's confused again. No, there's Colin. Quincy is elsewhere. Quincy's back at the hotel, I think. Yeah, just a solder and soldering iron, yeah? I only got a soldering pen here, but it should do the job. That's awesome, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Dave. What the? Shh, don't call me that name here. We only use our cool names on this beach. Call me The Wave. Thank you, The Wave. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, no! Hey! Oh no, the soldering bag! Did that hawk just... Oh, that is not cool. Did someone ask for a hero? Instructor... Instructor Barry! What the hell are you doing here? Barry, you're late for work with the parasailing again! With all due respect, Dave, it looks like I came just in time. Colin, I don't know why you're here, but come with me. We've got the day to save. Uh, okay. Okay, we are doing this. Hang on there, I'm gonna get us closer to it. Hold up to rise, down to fall. I already figured that out. Dang it, Barry, can you go any faster? This is the max trim I can handle. We're gonna flip if we go, to, if we go any faster. It's getting away. Did anyone ask for a hero? Hi, Faye! Hey, wait, you, you look like, oh, this is an awkward reunion. Hi, Colin, that's your headmate down there. Just focus on that bird, I'm gonna get us closer. Okay. Hey, spare the seeds. What? Okay, don't shoot. Watch out for the gulls, hitting them would slow us down. Worst wingman ever. Shut up, Mary. Oh god, ah, up, 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 don't get hit. Do I need to worry about the parachute hitting them? Ow, flipped them. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume the parachute's fine. Oh crap. Come on, get back here. Oh, no, no. Stop running away, bird. Got it. There you go, all in one piece. Thank you. Those were some awesome moves up there. Hey, thanks, it was mostly the boat driver. Wait. Uh, Miss Connie? Uh, no, I think you got the wrong per- Yes, Miss Connie. Huh? Wait a minute. Miss Connie, our high school math class teacher? Yeah, that's a fun one, that's a fun callback. Yeah, River and I shared a desk together in her class. That was before I, well, I moved, and you, uh, you two became desk mates. Yes, I remember now. We got into a lot of trouble. You mean you got us into a lot of trouble. She used to throw the paper planes I made at the teacher when, whenever we, uh, whenever she wasn't looking. I also threw the ones I made. Yeah, which she also blamed me for. Oh, you still doodling all those lighthouses and platypuses? Yes. You still remember? I'm not quite sure how I feel about how they're writing River in this one. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt and say that, like, we are in a fictionalized reality at the moment. So that could be part of it, but it feels... Her writing feels off. Okay, it sure is all coming back to me now. Hey, you, you know what? Thank you for what you did back then. We just started spending more time together then, and... When you lent your, uh, your seat to me, well, 
It really helped me to get to know her better. And it was one of the best semesters because of it. Well, hey, I'm glad to see you both. Looks like things worked out. I still have the book. He gave her the book about lighthouses? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, origami book. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense given them. The origami book. You're the one who taught me how to fold origami. Thank you for that. He gave her the origami book! Ah! Ooh, wow, that's gonna make To The Moon playthroughs a little bit more painful. Of course, it's always a joy to share. Hey, Dad, I think I see a walrus. It's not a walrus, it's just a dolphin playing with a pufferfish on top of a humpback whale. You two have a great time, okay? I sure made my dad running into you both. Thanks, Colin. Hope you and your family have a nice time out here. Hi, Faye. Hi, Lunaire. You two are friends, huh? Huh. Hmm. Oh, I'm suspicious. There. Good as new. It was good as new before you whacked it with a wrench. This is amazing. Thank heavens we got it fixed before nightfall. Yep, glad we could avoid a catastrophe and all. And I owe it all, I, and I owe it to you all. You're the real deal. You really didn't have to do that, guy. Huh? You don't have to try and act like a lighthouse keeper. I don't know what you think a lighthouse keeper should be, but it shouldn't be something that boxes you in. All you have to be is someone who takes care of the lighthouse. By doing that, uh, doing what you do, you are a lighthouse keeper. Oh, you know, just hearing you say that, I... 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 I feel it. I feel like a lighthouse keeper. This beard, I can't take it off anymore. Well, what just happened? I don't know, but something just changed. I just, but truly, thank you, young lady. You know, I actually don't mind this. It's all growing on me like the beard. Maybe I'll ask my friend about helping out here more often. Hey, if you need help, please feel free to reach out to us, too. Right, River? Yeah, we'll learn about it together. Thanks, you two. I would love that. Another day saved. More like another night saved. It's a lighthouse. Either way, I guess you can say we lit up his day. Shut up. A beacon of hope, even. One that revolves around... Are you trying to one-up Rob, Neil? No? Don't celebrate too early, my comrades. The day's not over yet. Shall we head back to the bus stop? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, you two have fun. That sure made the trip, huh? I'm very glad. This place is special. The designer of this lighthouse, he's the one who also designed Anya. Ooh! He passed away some time ago, and this was one of his earliest works. I just wanted to visit to pay respect. Well, I'm glad we got to do our part in honoring him then. Yes, he's a hero of mine. I love River. She's so good. Alright, let's get out of here and head on to the beach next, I think. Though I think I am going to real quick take a break. I am going to go grab something to eat because I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. So I will be back in a little bit and then we will head on to the extreme sport beach. Be back soon.
am back. I had some food. I drank some water. Honestly, it wasn't the most filling food because I wanted to grab it in a hurry because uh, I wanted to get back again. But food is food. But I might have to go grab more snacks later. Oh, it's lunchtime. Fine. I'm curious what will happen if you uh, go to the, the sports beach first instead. Uh, my mic's on, right? This should be. Looks like it is. A statue of an explorer from long ago. Colonizer! Whoa there. Although, yeah. But there's nuance to it. It's an interesting thought, though, to leave a statue of yourself long after you're gone. Just to be remembered, for better or worse. Eh, it's just an uh, inanimate slab of rock for people to point to and mock. A bit desperate, if you ask me. Aren't we all sometimes? I just think we can leave much more. Proud of you, Roxy. Where's the entrance? Over there. Okay, then let's explore over here first. There is nothing to explore. Lovely. Oh, but I can check the statue again. They did a good job on that bum, though. Huh? Huh? What was that again? I said that ass! They did a good job on the ass! Ah, oh, yes, it's quite nice. Good, good for you, Roxy. <laughs> All right then. Onwards. Hello, Winters Reservation, please. Winters, are Roxanne Winters? That's right. Your reservation is at 12:26 p.m. Exactly 365 days from today. Oh my God. What? Did you misclick the year when booking, Roxy? Could we just take a table that's available? There are no tables available. But there's an empty table right there! A table is never empty without a reservation. That doesn't even make sense! Excuse me. Hello? Yes. Yes. A crash! No, don't do this to me. No, game, don't do that! Oh, please, 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 please let the autosave be fine. Oh, please let the autosave be fine. I will be devastated. Oh, no. This might be the end. If it's crashing on just trying to progress, uh, progress the game. Oh, I see those photos of just uh, Eva alone. Roxy alone. 138. Okay, good. We're at least, we are at least back here. Hello. Okay, please don't crash, please don't crash. Please, 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 please. Okay, phone call? Hello? Yes. Yes. Oh no! Okay, we've got a fatal crash in the game, so we can't actually progress any further. That sucks. I guess I will come back another day when hopefully it's been patched. I'm devastated. This sucks. I will... I, I guess that's it for today. Damn. Alright, well, hopefully there will be an update soon. I'm sure more than me have seen this, so... Yeah. That's unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate. I guess I could try and see if the Windows version works, because I'm on the Linux version. Would my save be preserved? I'm gonna try that. Let's try that real quick. I'll back up my save. We'll get the, uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Back up. Uh, you know what? Here, you know what? I'm gonna... Bah! Let's do that. Let's hide my screen. Let's create a backup. 
Verify integrity of game files. Everything's fine. Uh, can't, will it even let me? Ah, here we go. I can force it to switch over to Proton. Update. Give me Proton. Now, please, 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 please. Yes, oh dear, oh dear. That kind of implies that the save was not transferred over to the Windows version. Uh oh. I am upset that it's been crashing. Dang it! Okay, yep. Yeah. No, Windows version doesn't keep the save. Fah! Okay. Turn that off. Update. Uh, let me let me screw around with files a little bit. We'll see if I can get it working. Browse local files. Da, 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 da. Where's my save? Okay, well let me let me make sure that the save is up. Uh, if I reloaded the Linux version, if it is, then I just need to figure out where the save is stored. Okay, good. The save is still stored. The save is still intact. So, browse local files. Where do you store it? Uh, I guess I can look RPG Maker save files. Is it the is it the RGSSAD file? No. There's a file called Starfinder in here. It's empty. RPG Maker, is it the RG SS80 file? What is that file? Okay, that's just the archive for all the game's files, it looks like. Huh, okay, well, this sucks. This really sucks. This really, really sucks. Because that means that we cannot keep playing the game. If the game is crashing consistently, I guess I can give it one more try. But it's crashing consistently, and I don't know where it stores the save. I guess I have one more place I can look. Um...
Yeah, shoot. Yeah, I have no idea where the saves are stored. That sucks. So that means it is simply broken. We're just going to have to wait until... Now we're just going to have to wait until there's an update which fixes it. And then I might be able to... Might be able to play it. Crap. All right, well, that sucks. In that case, I guess we're stopping the stream here. And I'll be back once the game has an update and we're able to play further. That's really annoying that it's crashing, though. I don't know how to fix that. I guess I can keep messing with it and see what happens, but... Yeah, if the game's crashing, we can't do anything about that. All right, I'll stream again when the game is functioning again. That's a bummer. I'll talk to everyone later.